This is the coolest diplomat I've ever met. Oh my gosh, what are you doing here? I'm trying to lose the weight I gained from Indian food. Wait, I feel like I've seen you somewhere. Yeah. On Twitter, I believe. Yeah, probably from the fact that I was, until recently, the Israeli ambassador to India. Oh my gosh, yes, now I know. Would you love to interview with me? Interview? Uh, well, we can, but here I think it's too crowded and noisy. Let's go for a coffee shop. Yalla, let's go. All right, so I am here with... Nao Gilon, former ambassador to India. And back in Israel, how do you feel? First of all, it's great to be back to Israel because coming back to Israel is really coming back to my family, to my children and grandchildren. And I'm still on a vacation, as you can see, so life uh -uh -uh. is great. Okay, awesome. I have to say you're the chillest diplomat I've ever met. This is so... You haven't met too many, I guess. I mean, also that. But I have to say you have a very cool personality and you make it very easy for this conversation, so thank you. And I have a couple of cool questions for you. Uh, we're going to do it very unconventional style. Not in suits, but at a restaurant in a black t-shirt and a, a, a striped shirt. All right, I have, so I have a couple of questions for you. So you were the former ambassador of Israel to India. So what was your first impression of India? Well, India is overwhelming. I think it's like, you know, it's 140, 150 times bigger than Israel in population and size. And I think, you know, Israel is a mess. India is a bigger mess. And, uh, you know, it's, I always call it, it's not India, it's the United States of India. So much variety, so much differences, so different cultures, languages, noises, smells. It's overwhelming, it's huge. One experience that stayed with you and will stay for the rest of your life. That's the one you didn't want to, you want to skip. So let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> what was the most rewarding aspect of your role as an ambassador? I would say probably the people-to-people -people element. I think that India, popular support that I saw from the Indian people towards Israel was second to none. And I served in many, many countries in the world. And, it, and when it was translated into government support or part of it was government support, so this was really rewarding to be, especially in hard times for Israel. I see. How do you envision the future of uh, India-Israel relations? Wow, great, great future, I hope. I mean, I think all the foundations are there for a great future. Because this is a relationship that is going for thousands of years Nukhon. between uh, Indian and Jewish people who live there and right. the whole history. And I think that it will go on for many, many years to come and will do well. Do well. Do you have a special message for uh, the current ambassador? First of all, I have a great successor, Ruben Azza, Ambassador Ruben Azza. He's a very experienced and good and friend and colleague. He will do a great job. And I think that I would suggest him to, of course, work on the main thing, which is the government-to-government -government cooperation, but not to neglect the people-to-people, -people because the basis of the friendship is between the civilization, the peoples. Mm -hmm. I think that's the power, the secret right. of these special relations. Okay, an interesting question. If you could host a dinner party with any of uh, the Indian celebrities, or even historical figures for that matter, who would they be and why? Wow, you are really challenging me. <laughs> well, how many do I have to choose? Three. Three? But you can go for ten, whatever you like. No, I mean... I'll, I'll go for three and I'll take them from different spheres. Okay. So probably from the political sphere, I would take either, I would love to host either Prime Minister Modi or Dr. Jay Shankar, one of them. Any of them would be a great honor. I would go to the sports, so Kapil Dave became a, a close friend and I miss him. And uh, I know that he's an Indian hero, but beyond being a cricket hero, He's a terrific human being. And the third one is someone that no one will probably know. His name is Batnaga, and he leads an NGO that we cooperated with. He's a great man. He works with uh, underprivileged people, does a beautiful projects and work. And we work together and he gave me a lot of satisfaction in doing good things in India. Sweet. Let's hope we manifest this dinner and you invite me. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't mention this question before, but let's see how you do it on camera. If you could host a TV show about your experiences in India, what it be called? Wow. <laughs> I have no idea whatsoever. Come up with something. No, because it will be if I come with, okay, masala, something. No, it's too, it's too, too uh, corny. I, I need something... We love uh, corny, trust no, me. No, the corny. audiences love corny. No, it will not be Bollywood, it will not be uh, masala. Or, or uh, chutzpah know. or yeah, uh, hummus. Yeah, chutzpah is not a trade, I think. Chutzpah is, uh, is, you know, Indians and Israelis are very similar in many ways. 
Chutzpah is only served in Israel. In, only for Israelis. Chutzpah is the idea of people being very, very uh, proactive and very uh, strong about achieving their aims. And I think that Indians are much more polite than the Israelis in this sense. Oh, we definitely are. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because you've been in India, it's three years? Three years. Three years. Short three years. Short three years. Do you have a message for the Indian audiences who are watching you right now? Yes. You know what, that's a surprise one, but uh, I will say, I, I think that I was really touched after October 7, I was touched and privileged to serve in India because the friendship that came, both from the country as a country, right. from Prime Minister Modi and down, but also from the people of support to Israel was really, really amazing. And I think that this friendship and this joint challenges, despite the fact that India is so much bigger than Israel, I think that this is very important for Israel, this support. It was important for me as a diplomat serving there, but I think it's important for Israelis to understand we are fighting a big war that very few countries in the world ever fought, especially not small countries like Israel. Having friends, I mean, we will win the war. This is not a question, even. We have no alternative. The alternative is not living in Israel or, you know, so we will have to win it. But having friends on the way makes it the feeling much better and we feel more confident. So thank you, India, for all your friendship and support. Well, thank you for uh, giving me the time. I know you have a very busy schedule. So thank you and uh, wish you all the best for your future. Thank you, Libby. I recently launched Moses in Israel memberships for an affordable price. This is a way to support me financially and help this channel grow. My members get first priority for video features, live stream replies, and access to my personal posts. I frequently give my members a chance to hop on exclusive calls with me as well. If you love my content and believe in Moses in Israel, I would invite you to join my membership club. The link is in the description. You are literally a few clicks away from being a member of the Moses in Israel community. That's it for this video and I will see you next time.